Tonight, more concerns about just how many coronavirus patients local hospitals can handle. This graph shows the spike in new COVID-19 hospitalizations in the Austin Travis County area. Now about 24 new patients are admitted to local hospitals every day. So the rate has nearly doubled in a week. KVU's Bryce Newberry joins us live from Dell Children's Hospital to talk about what this really means for Texans. Bryce. Mike, here at Dell Children's, there are a total of about 50 ICU beds. And for the last five days, Texans have filled up hospitals at a record pace across the state. But that isn't slowing down plans for the state reopening. Instead, the governor seems focused on making sure there's a hospital bed available for anyone who needs one if they get the virus. We are in the middle of a short period of time where all of us have to coexist with COVID-19. As coronavirus cases climb, most of Texas is back open for business. But at a news conference Tuesday, Governor Greg Abbott focused on what's happening at hospitals. We remain laser focused on maintaining abundant hospital capacity. According to the governor's office, the Austin area has 3,250 hospital beds. Currently, 2,340 of them are used, 137 of them are COVID patients. That means 910 are available, or about 28% of the region's capacity. Governor Abbott says the state is at the lowest threat level to hospital bed availability, but experts say one way to avoid going to the hospital is to wear a mask. Well, all of us have a collective responsibility to educate the public that wearing a mask is the best thing to do. But across the state, wearing a mask isn't enforceable. Tuesday, nine Texas mayors wrote a letter to Abbott asking that he let them require wearing face coverings. The leaders of Houston, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, El Paso, Arlington, Plano, and Grand Prairie all say the state's one-size-fits-all approach is not the best option for mask rules, and the state should trust local officials to make informed choices about health policy. The governor's office fired back in a statement saying in part, quote, none of these local officials have lifted a finger to impose penalties and enforcement mechanisms currently available to them. What enforcement mechanisms do local municipalities currently have to enforce facial coverings? Well, we're, we're trying to figure that one out right now because uh, we saw the governor's uh, suggestion at the press conference that cities should be doing more to, to enforce face coverings. Uh, and, and we're not real sure exactly how we do it since the, since the, the, the governor took away doing fines and, 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 and doing jail time. Austin Mayor Steve Adler says it was never about fines or jail time, instead about sending a clear message. Our desire is for people to wear face coverings more. Uh, and I think that being able to, to make it mandatory uh, here locally uh, we'll, we'll change the, the, the messaging, and I think we'll see more and more people wearing masks. And today, the city of Austin confirmed it is finalizing plans to have a field hospital set up, so a place where people can go if hospitals do get full that can take care of up to 1,500 people. Reporting live tonight, dear Dell Children's Hospital, I'm Bryce Newberry, KVU News.